Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Java GUI tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to explore the um, JText area um, component in Java Swing. So, a text area is basically it's um, a lot bigger than a text field. It can span multiple rows, and you can obviously type in a lot more things into a JText area than you could type into a JText field. So. Anyways, well, let's get right to it here. Um, so I think in this program it's gonna be fairly simple. Um, if I just showed you a JTEXT area, it'd probably take you like two minutes. So I'm gonna actually do other things too. Like um, we're gonna have a button that converts it to into a label. So um, JTEXT area. Um, let's come on text area, and then you're gonna need a J button, and then a J label. And I just call mine label. <coughs> Alright, public class I mean not class, public uh TA. I call it TA for text area because I don't want to call it text area because it might get confused with this variable here. It's just good practice not to call your class the same as um, one of your variables. So let's see, what do we want? Um uh, layout. Uh we'll just do the default um Layout. Because grid layout's not hard, but eh, sometimes it's better to just use the default one, or else the button sometimes would be like super tall and it would just look odd. So, um, let's see here. Alright, text area. I'm just gonna be a new J text area. And for your parameters, um, we're just gonna put um, rows and columns. So I want five rows and thirty columns, and then I want to add the text area. <coughs> All right. And you can look on Java website for more um, information about this. You can put more things into the constructor, but it has to go in a certain order. But I'm not gonna mess around with it. Like, if I wanted, I could put a string in here. Like, um, this will already be in there like that. And then when you um <coughs> load the program this those words will already be in the text field but eh, we won't have that. Alright. And now when you see a uh, J button, I mean yeah. We already have it so that's gonna be our um click here to put text into label. Something like that. Really long button but oh well and add the button <coughs> and your label and just have it empty and your event uh, handling class this program's gonna be pretty short compared to all our other ones recently but that's alright Alright, so what are we going to do? Well, we want to get the text from the text area and put it into our label. So, uh, let's call it string text, and it's going to be equal to text area, and then get text. And then, um, so we have the text. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we want to put label set text text. So, we're setting our label equal to whatever text we got out of the text area and I'm really lazy and I already wrote the main method here so beforehand because I hate writing these main methods honestly it's so boring and plus I nice to have the size already there so just write it if you don't have it and then just pause it now but I'm gonna run the program so all right here it is um, there's a nice long button that says click here to put text in the label. And I click and nothing happens because um I guess we could add some uh thing in here. Like this. If text is equal equal to nothing. Um What's this saying? Yeah, I gotta do this stupid thing. Alright, um so if text is equal to nothing, then 
label set text please enter some text else do this there we go and tab that over all right that's um looks looks better now we have some little data validation so it says please enter some text all right so I'll enter this will appear in our label down below and look what happened it did this will appear in our label down below so you can type in anything you want yada 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 enter yada yada and obviously a label is not the best thing to uh, display text with because well, you'd have to use them you have to make new lines and use new new label for each line but uh, yeah, it doesn't carry over very good so but that's alright um, yeah there's really nothing else you can learn about text areas I mean I guess I could show you like this um, this is already in there now I run it and what do you know this is already in there this is already in there haha haha -ha. and empty please enter some text so neat little tutorial on uh, text areas they're pretty useful for like maybe if a user wants to f leave like um, feedback on your program or something or they have to use enter like a long set of information that a text field will not be suitable for well text area is suitable for it so um yeah that's all there really is I mean the only new thing we learned is this text area and that's only two actually only one line of code so and if you're confused about this thing um this equal equal null blah 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 I don't know why but my NetBeans thing if I try to compare a string using like a uh, logical operator thing it just says like makes me do this and I just click that light bulb and it does it but I don't know it's kinda dumb so but anyways uh... yeah so thanks for watching and see you later next time